<laughs> Davy gets to spend a little time outside this morning. He opens this door and lets himself out and in. I don't know how he let himself out in this time. Must have went through here. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. No, you're not going out. Say good morning. We forgot to say good morning to everybody. Good morning. It's Monday morning, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we were in all weekend. I was feeling sick. I had the, kind of the flu. And this morning I have a little bit of a sore throat. So everybody's been... Uh, Bray, my sister brought me Sprite. And my other sister brought me Sprite and some Rice Krispie Treats. Because they always make me feel better. Rice, you know, makes your stomach feel better. And so the house is kind of a mess because I haven't felt well. But just have to get over that. <laughs> Here's the Rice Krispie Treats that she brought me, and the Sprites. That always makes me feel better. And my arms are still very sore. Um, picking up just that is hard to do. But that's with my left arm. My right arm, I don't think I could do it yet. This is pretty heavy. So I'm still healing from the surgery. Davy brought in a gigantic spider last night, and I think it had a little fiddle on its back, so I got it away from it and killed it right away because I didn't want it to bite him. I had one that bit uh, Gracie like that on the side when she was a baby, and it ate the skin off, ate the fur off her skin, and uh, because they will, they're um, recluse spiders. So I was glad that he caught it, and as soon as it came in the door, he got it. He's very good. He goes and looks. He looks and looks for everything. He, if he sees something out of place or uh, even a fly or something, he gets it within seconds. So he's a very, very good thing to have a little cat to have in the house to catch bugs and stuff before they get in the house and cause problems. Yeah, and Max, Max. Tries to help him. <laughs> Davy was hissing at him last night because Max was trying to get the spider away from him. He was hissing and running in the other room with it. Um, very nice and windy this morning. The wind is coming in. Oh, I think the male lady's here. I don't know if she is or not. But um, we're kind of camping out in the living room this morning. Um, I kind of watch the show. It has people who get, I don't know, they meet somebody in another country and then um, they have to get married within 90 days. And this is one where she met this guy and they just had a hurricane go through. So now she's living on a hurricane island where nothing is there and she has to get married in 90 days. So I think that's kind of fun to watch people, you know, their hardships they go through and different things. I don't know. I don't get out of the house much, so um, just to go walking and things like that. Davy, are you tired now, baby? Yes, you're tired. You want a treat? Come on, baby. He loves his little... Um, <laughs> he's getting so big. He loves these temptations. He's getting so big. Look how big he is. He's huge. Yes, he's a big kitty. <laughs> go for a walk this morning, Max? Don't go for a walk in the park? See if there's any squirrels. Squirrels running around in the park? Yeah? You want to go see him? Davey, I put the table there so he can't get out right now. Because me and Max are going to go for a walk. <laughs> it's Max's turn. Oh, it feels so nice. I don't know what the weather is going to be. I think it's going to be still in the 80s today. 
the grass needs to be mowed. I didn't decorate the house yet for the um, fall. Maybe we'll go upstairs and see what there is. I um, remember how we decorated last year. It's just hard for me to carry something down the stairs like I did last year. So I may not decorate this year, but I may just clean it up a little bit and make it look pretty. Um, I need to go up there and find some containers um, that can separate my beads because I'm starting to make jewelry and I have different beads. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good <laughs> yeah, it is. Good for a walk. Yeah. Hey, good boy. I don't put him on a leash because he minds me very well. See if he gets too far. He knows how far he can go. <laughs> People here are so nice. So very friendly. Come on. <clears throat> I think my sore throat will go away. Maybe because I had the windows open all night. Max, Max, Max. Time to come back here by me. Okay, stay. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Okay, good boy. Stay by me. Stay by me. Wait, wait. Okay. Now we're at the street. <laughs> and wait, car's coming. Wait, no, no. Stay. Stay, stay. Okay, we can go. <laughs> so we can walk over here to this park easy and give him a little time out of the house there's our catholic church i love the way that it makes music it's sometimes it plays songs trying to find out if there's a festival this coming weekend anywhere close it is fall so I mean, the leaves haven't turned yet, but uh, we can always go for a drive. My cousin Ann, oh no, leave the bird alone. Come on, there's a dead bird. Looks like a blue jay. Probably a cat got it. Yeah. <gasps> there's money. There's $10 right here. What? What do I do? It's just left here in the park. Well, I see if anyone asked, or asked for it. Huh. Boy, I sure could use $10. I don't have any gas money. I'm out of gas completely. And I don't get paid till Wednesday and it's Monday. So that's a gift from heaven. That's manna from heaven there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is wonderful. Go for a walk and get make $10. I wonder if there's any more money I should look. Maybe in the grass. Maybe it fell out of somebody's wallet when they were walking. I don't know. It just probably fell out of someone's pocket. I'm sorry for them. I don't see any more. Go look for squirrels. I'll look for money. You go look for squirrels. I'll look for money. <laughs> We're on a money hunt. Squirrels. Go get the squirrels. <laughs> wow, that makes my day. I can go get gas now. I couldn't go to a physical therapy this week because I didn't have gas money. Um, I can make appointment now. I'll call him this morning. My arm has been hurting a lot because I haven't been going to physical therapy uh, because I didn't. I mean, it's not that far, but when your light's on and it's below empty, you don't want to push it. <laughs> so anyway. I'm trying to get my money from YouTube. Thank you guys for watching my channel and for watching the commercials because 
I do have an extra hundred dollars in there they can send me. I made a hundred last year if you remember I, I bought a heater with it and this year I have another hundred but I'm having a hard time getting it because uh, my I can't sign in. Um, my tablet won't charge so and I can't use my phone because I can't get the URL address or something. I still have to call Google and uh, I have that on my list to do today. Hopefully I'll be able to get someone who can understand me and I can understand them and we can get it fixed so I can get the hundred dollars. You have to um, you have to make a hundred dollars before they'll send it to you. Uh, so far I've made two hundred and twenty two dollars thanks to you guys and I just want to thank you all so much for that. Knowing it's there, it just makes me feel good about it. Also, this week we're going to look for food banks. Um, my cousin Jenny gave me the address of all of them and when they give out food. So we're going to do that this week. And that should be fun. We'll see what we get for the food. Oh, Max, there's a squirrel. <laughs> it's very windy, so some leaves are falling. They're not turning yet. I hope it'll be a pretty fall. We can go do drives in this, in the uh, country. Oh yeah, my cousin invited us, me and Max, out just to come out and talk or um, go horseback riding. I told her I could come this week after I get paid so we can go out in the country and hang out or do whatever. Um, with my arm hurting like it is, I'm not sure I want to ride yet, especially since we haven't had a freeze. Um, I don't like to go horseback riding. In the summer, I like to wait until the ground freezes because there is bees in the ground. And if a horse goes across that bee trap or whatever they nest, bee nest, they will attack the horses. And the horses will jump. And one of them, uh, my cousin broke her neck twice. The last time was because of the bees. She was on critical condition for a long, long time. Come here, Max. I had neck surgery, and it had broken in several places, so they were, thank God she survived that. But I'm too scared to ride horses until the ground freezes, and then the bees won't bother the horses. So, probably won't be riding until November or, or something like that. I don't mind dressing warm. Eh, for safety, I'd rather do that. Look how beautiful these uh, petunias. <laughs> City Hall's been here since 